Saturday, everybody. I almost said happy Sunday because I'm having one of those moments where we did something today that we normally do on Sundays, so I'm kind of out of sorts. Just to catch you guys up, we had an amazing night last night. Oh, I think Dan just hit his face on the fridge. Are you okay? Did you hit your face on the fridge? Did you hit your tattoo with the fridge? No. It was the grand opening for my best friend Jenny's tattoo shop. So we got to have an adult night, which was amazing. Our friend Josh came and hung out with the kids. He's their uncle, not his biological brother, but it's one of Dan's best friends and one of the only people other than grandma that they're happy to stay with. So they had a really good time. If you follow me on Instagram or you are on Facebook, you may be aware that little baby Levi is obsessed with the gummy bear gummy bar if you are a parent you are probably aware of You're the gummy probably bear. probably cringing right now i'm a gummy bear and yes i'm you, a gummy you bear just ruined everyone's day <laughs> so it's levi's favorite thing in the whole world and i got a little levi tribute tattoo you can't see it but it's a gummy bear and it's the cutest dan got a cute little norwal tattoo because i made him and it has a rainbow horn and it's the best and i will show it to you when we are done showing you our aldi haul Ta -da! that's what we did today most of you know i normally grocery shop solo during the week but we're trying some new programs with the kids at school for learning to eat some new foods so we had to do a very very large grocery haul we also were out of so many of our keto staples it was ridiculous so we basically didn't stick to a budget and we just did a big haul so if you are looking for one of our budget friendly hauls this isn't necessarily it but i'm going to show you so many amazing treasures that we found at aldi and there were a couple of new things they had some new stuff so i'm really excited to show you i'm also going to insert some footage of the kids playing at the park because it was adorable and that's what we always do if we're gonna drag them to the grocery store we try to do something fun with them before we go so they are more inclined to be cooperative if i don't seem super happy it's because aldi was draining today dan's kind of in a bad mood today i don't really know like what's happening aldi but he's he's crankalicious people were not friendly at aldi today i yelled at him at aldi <laughs> yelled at me because an old man sucks. I'm like, you're being mean. I'm not in the mood. People would move. Life, life. Yeah, it was definitely um, something else Please at Aldi. Me. So we're going to show you guys our groceries. And that's it. That's what we're doing here today. I'm going to do some meal prep stuff tomorrow. Um, and definitely some cooking. But today is just a glorious Aldi haul. And some cooking. We're going to do something. Yeah, we're probably going to make dinner. Because if I don't eat, like, yeah. Okay, that's enough. That's enough yammering. Let me show you. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you that I was really excited about is that Aldi had low-carb wraps. Now, they're saying the brand is Ole Mexican, and they actually have the exact same macros as our beloved uh, carb counter wraps. So I'm assuming that it's either the exact same company in a different packaging or something close to it. So these are five net carbs a piece and they really do feel and look exactly like the ones that we normally buy at Walmart. And they were only two bucks. I normally spend like 350. So that's a hot deal. Got two boxes of fart bars. These are for Dan. Dan loves these. Long stuff. Because Dan likes to fart. <laughs> That's awkward. Then, big bag of pistachios. I love these for a snack. They're one of my favorite things to eat. We got some unsweetened almond milk. We actually got two of these because the kids drink this as well. I got two packs of strawberries. These were a little more expensive than what I like to spend. It's just not the perfect season for them, but I went for it anyway. Then here are some veggies. We got some cucumber some Roma tomatoes, a head of iceberg lettuce. We already had romaine in the fridge, so I didn't need other lettuce. Multicolored bell peppers, jalapenos. These are only 70 cents for the whole bag, so it was a hot deal. Then 
for frozen veggies, I just picked up a bag of broccoli and a bag of riced cauliflower. We had a good amount of this in the freezer, but I always like to make sure that we have a ton on hand. Now, here is our dairy. I've got three blocks of cheese here, mild cheddar, Monterey Jack, and sharp cheddar. I have a tub of cream cheese. This is actually for Lincoln. I don't normally use this. We usually stick to the blocks. I got 900 blocks of cream cheese because we go through it like crazy. It's in the majority of my recipes. Tub of sour cream. My favorite thing in the world, our Aldi does not always have this. This is something that they only have once in a while. This is a tzatziki dip. I usually will make some kind of cucumber salad to go on top of chicken with this. It's two carbs per two tablespoons, which isn't bad at all. Then some sliced mild cheddar, a pack of string cheese. I got some of these frozen meatballs. I normally make these myself, but for a little snack, a couple meatballs really isn't that bad. It's five net carbs for six meatballs, which is a little high, but for a snack, I'm feeling it. And I think the kids will eat these, so that's a quick and easy thing. We got some lunch meat. This is the smoked uncured ham from Aldi. This is the lowest carb lunch meat that Aldi has, and it's absolutely delicious. I got a pack of shaved beef. This is another thing that we get every single time they have it at Aldi. It's one of our favorite meals. Now, I got a big piece of sirloin steak. This is going to end up being in a cauliflower fried rice dish this week. I got two packs of bacon, one pound of ground mild sausage. I love when they have it ground like this out of the casing. Then I got some center cut pork chops. I love these. I usually cook these ahead of time and use them as um, like meat dunker sticks for a little snack. Then these are for Dan. This is not my favorite food here, but they're keto and Dan loves them, so I'll show you anyway. We've got some uncured bratwurst and some cheddar brats. He'll probably end up taking these to work. Then a bag of frozen shrimp, a huge pack of chicken and a massive Boston butt. That's it. This whole haul right here without any of the kids stuff was right around 130 bucks. That's our haul. Yeah. So a couple of things that I want to comment on. If you can buy fresh shrimp, buy fresh shrimp. We Typically, me especially, I do not like frozen shrimp, but it's better than no shrimp. And I was craving cooked shrimp with some yum yum sauce, so I'm gonna make some of that this week. But typically, I would buy fresh. I'm just gonna give this another try, because it would be really nice if I liked it, because it's really easy and it's really inexpensive. So what do you guys think? Pretty good haul for just over $100. As I started going through it, I'm like, it's more budget friendly than I think. We spent more money on kid food than we normally do because we have to get them to try new things, which means buying new things that they may or may not eat. So I think that's where the extra budget came mm -hmm. from. Yeah. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible, but I'm cheap. So anything over $100 and I start to panic. I like to eat. Yeah. So if we don't have enough stuff for me to eat that's keto, I don't I don't want to flail. We end up getting takeout. <laughs> like Flailing. wacky waving, inflatable yeah. tube man. Yeah. We have a tendency to get more takeout <laughs> than we should when we don't have keto options. So we committed this morning and we're like, hey, let's go do a beast grocery haul. Yep. So that's what it is. I have a photo shoot later on this evening. It's actually an engagement session. Yes. But I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul portion of today's video. Groceries. That was weird. Do it again. <laughs> it's like I have a tiny head. <laughs> we love you guys. We will check in in a little bit. I'm gonna get all this crap put away and get my cameras together. And as promised, here is some super cute footage of the kids playing at the park. Enjoy. <laughs> Yeah.
Yay! Good job. Yeah. Oh. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. One more time. Like and subscribe. We have to go to Aldi. Okay, that's it, Doris. <laughs> Lincoln, we have to go to Aldi. Okay, that's it. No Aldi. Why no Aldi? I love Aldi. No. I love you. No, I'm not going to go to Aldi. Let's go buy some food at Aldi. <laughs> Remember, take your money. Put your money in here. And push. Yeah. Okay. Now we can go to all these. Hop on. Bye. Hi, Dan. Okay, I just got back from my engagement session. The kids are getting ready for bed. I'm gonna try and drum up something easy for dinner. I was gonna show you guys dinner, but it's like nine o'clock and I am beat. So we're gonna close up this video. I hope you enjoyed our Aldi grocery haul today. I hope it gave you some ideas as to what to look for at your very own Aldi. And we will see you guys probably tomorrow. Have the best night. You say goodnight, Lincoln? Yeah. Yeah. Good night, guys. Oh, and because I never know how to close out a video, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a couple of photos of the tattoos that we got last night. So you can see the gummy bear that I got for Levi and Dan's little Norwal. So now we're really done.